In this video, I'm going to tell OpenBOM to create a bomb on a SOLIDWORKS PDM event. So I'm going to sign into my SOLIDWORKS PDM product as the admin and go to the, go to the workflow area and edit the default workflow to add an OpenBOM task. Okay, let's go look at, let's go edit the OpenBOM task. I'm going to tell OpenBOM what I want to have happen here. I'm going to build a bomb. And I'm going to save that in as the admin of my vault. Now I'm going to go as a user uh, into PDM, uh, into SOLIDWORKS PDM. And I'm going to open an assembly and take a look and see that I do not yet have a bill of material. Okay. Okay. And um, so I've got a, I'm looking at the bomb list right now and it's uh, currently in the latest state. I'm going to go ahead and submit this. I'm going to start making some, uh, um, kind of making some state changes here so you can see what's going to happen. And I'm going to go ahead and submit, submit this. And then I'm going to do a change request. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and submit this for approval. Okay, so we've cycled uh, this bill of material through. There's a part there that says test description. And what just happened is that uh, when I submitted that for approval, open bomb, the open bomb add-in for uh, SolidWorks PDM starts making those uh, that bomb structure. Now you see that I'm refreshing my browser here a little bit, and that's because this is running in the background. There's the first assembly. I'm going to refresh again. Here's the second assembly, and then I'll refresh again. And finally, you'll see that the uh, that the root assembly will come in, and there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and open that root assembly and open bomb. I'm going to review it uh, you know, multi-level. I can see the entire structure. I'm going to drill down and find, find all the bits and pieces that are in there. And then finally, we're going to take a look at that one part, part four, and there's a description for that. Test description for part four. Okay, so we built a bomb on the, on the state change. All good. Let's go ahead and open up the data the, uh, let's check that part out, open up the data card for that part, and change that description here. We're going to just make a, as if we were making a change to a part. We'll add a new version here to the end of the description. And we'll go ahead and save that. So now we've got a part with a change. We, st we see it right there. It is the uh, as-built. We're going to look at the latest, and we're going to see... Uh, sorry, that's the as built. There's the latest. The latest has the word new vision on the on the description. So we're gonna go ahead and again we're gonna cycle this through the workflow to request and uh, accept the change request in PDM. And now we'll go ahead and uh, submit that. Okay, so once we went through that, uh, once we went through that change cycle, we'll see in OpenBOM that the bill material will update. So let's go ahead and open it. Recall before that this said new said description for part four. And again, there's a little background work that's gonna that's got to go on as we update all the bombs in that structure. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click uh, refresh here a few times until we see that come in. Okay, and we should see here, there it is, there's that part four has its new, uh, its new description.